Hello everybody, I have something cool to show you today. It's on my website at markbullard.com and it is this little subscribe widget right here. If you click it, it takes me right to your channel. You can make your own customized subscribe uh, widget that you can put anywhere that accepts code. Let me show you how to make one. It's pretty simple. What you need to do is you need to go to the developers page and I will provide a link in the description and in an annotation. But it is the developers.google.com page and you can actually look through some uh, pretty interesting things but right here there's the YouTube subscribe widget. You can actually make your own YouTube subscribe button and you don't have to read about all of this stuff but what you can do is you can configure a button and it's pretty cool you can design many different designs you can have these are the paid channels so you can create these if you're a paid channel standard channels get to choose between all of these scroll down to where it says configure a button and this tool will let you create this code so it asks you for your channel name so you put in your channel ID it's not the full URL it's just the thing after the slash and then you can choose to have a uh, full or default then you can also choose the dark or default. There's the default layout here. You can have the dark layout as well. And then you can have the subscriber count hidden or you can have it shown. Now however you choose, you can select all of this code and put it in your website. I put it in my widgets area, but I could also put it in a, a page or a post. It'd be very simple to do. Here we go. I'll do it right here. I'm creating a new post. I'm going to paste it in. I have to make sure that uh, it is in the text side of things. This is WordPress. I'm going to paste this in. I'll even put a little subscribe as well. Then I simply click publish and once it's done publishing I'm going to view the page or view the post and cross my fingers there it is right there so you can put this at the end of every article of every post that you create you can put it in a widget such as what I did or any place else that accepts code let me know if you have any more questions thanks